Will Tiny11 become a Windows 11 if you get the latest updates? True or false? Today I will find out. First of all, I want to mention that some people already wrote me this in the comment that after updating Tiny11 it will become the same Windows 11 and even larger than Windows 11. Hmm, quite interesting. The thing is, Tiny11 is the same Windows 11 but the modified version because they remove a lot of Windows components, they remove Microsoft Edge browser. So in short, first I'm going to install Tiny11 on my old Lenovo ThinkPad L400 laptop since 2013. After that, I will not connect it to the internet, no internet connection, no updates, no drivers. Then I'm going to connect to the internet check for the latest updates and of course I'm going to install all necessary drivers for my device and I'm going to show you how many space Tiny11 takes with updates and without updates but that's not all because I will do the same process but with Windows 11 and then I will compare Tiny11 with updates without updates and Windows 11 with updates and without updates after that you can decide for yourself do you really need to get the latest updates for Tiny11? Honestly, the result will be quite interesting. Stay tuned. My friends, we are in the Tiny11. As you can see, I disconnect the internet. And that's because after connecting to the internet, Tiny11, Windows 11 will update some drivers automatically. Intel HD graphics driver, in my case, this is a GPU driver, etc. Also, it may install some important updates. So I will click on this folder, click on this PC. Also, I want to mention I don't use a screen recording program because software will also take some space. I just want to show you how many space Tiny11 take without updates, without drivers. So if we click on local disk C, click on show more options, select this option. You may see that Tiny11 take 13.5 gigabytes of space of storage so we can close this window i didn't install any application from the microsoft store i didn't install browser i will click on the settings and right now i'm going to show you that i didn't install any updates so i will click on the system scroll down a little bit and here you may see about section now you may see the specs of my system. This is unsupported laptop, Intel Core i3 processor, 8GB of RAM, Tiny11 based on original Windows 11 ISO file, Windows 11 Pro and Vision 22H2. Correct version of Tiny11 is B2, which means Beta 2. Also, I want to mention one important thing. Please don't be surprised if you see that your laptop cannot install all updates. Some security updates, for example, because Microsoft simply doesn't optimize drivers for older devices because they are unsupported. So, before I connect to the internet and install all updates, I will click here on search and I will show you my drivers, drivers that are not installed. As you can see, we have four driver missing and nothing complicated here. I will install all drivers. I will install updates. And after that, we can check how many space Tiny11 have. So friends, I successfully connect my device to the internet, to the Wi-Fi. I will go to the startup menu, click on the settings, click on Windows update, and I will check for the latest updates. Click here. My friends, as you can see, some updates are available. No loading process began. Now we just need to wait. As you can see, the process is finished, but we cannot install two updates. Definitely don't worry if you have an old laptop or computer and you cannot install some updates. Okay, I will close this window and also i already installed all necessary drivers for my laptop so i will show you we will go to the device manager as you can see all drivers are installed we will close this window if we click on the startup menu you may see a lot of different applications which appear on our window microsoft office xbox 
TikTok, Spotify and other application. But still, we don't have Microsoft Edge browser because Microsoft Edge browser is installed in Windows 11 by default. And now the moment we all are waiting for, I will show you how many space after updates, after drivers, Tiny 11 takes. I will click on this PC, local disk C, click on the right mouse button, show more options, select this option, wait a few minutes. So fellas, after I installed all available updates and drivers for my system, Tiny 11 takes 18.8 gigabytes of storage. So actually, in my case, after this process, Tiny 11 take less than 19 gigabytes of storage. So I will repeat the same process, but in Windows 11. As you can see, I have unsupported computer, so definitely I will bypass Microsoft 11 system requirements. Nothing complicated here on my channel. I have video where I'm showing you in detail how to bypass Windows 11 system requirements on any unsupported computer. This video is not about the speed. This video about how many space take Windows 11 and Tiny 11 after installing updates and all necessary drivers. So I will close this window and right now I'm going to install Windows 11 on same unsupported laptop. Also I will use the same HDD drive. Stay tuned. We are in the Windows 11, yes. I installed Windows 11 on unsupported laptop. This is not the Tiny 11 actually Tiny11 is also Windows. I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain to you. As you can see, I also disconnect from the internet. Literally, we cannot get any updates or automatically driver update. And as you can see, this is Windows 11. This is the first thing that you may see in Windows 11, Microsoft Edge browser. If you click on the startup menu, you can see some basic application. As far as I understand, this application will appear after we connect to the internet. Also, I will show you that I didn't install any updates yet. Click on the Windows update. If you take a close look here, you may see no updates available and that's because we don't connect our laptop to the internet. So I will close this window and one more time, let's check how many space Windows 11 takes before we install drivers and get the latest updates. I will click on the file manager, this PC, local disk C, click on the right mouse button. One more time, show more options. And what do we see here? 22.2 gigabytes of space is used, but we don't install any drivers, we don't install any updates. So some people wrote me in the comments that Tiny11 after installation is larger even than Windows 11. So guys, I don't know how Tiny11 can become larger than Windows 11, but right now, Windows 11 by default has 22.2 gigabytes of space. I successfully connect to the internet and now I'm going to install the latest updates. Click on the startup menu and what do we see here? Applications appear in Windows 11. So we will click on the settings, then I will select Windows update. Now I will click here check for updates. My friends, now we just need to wait. Actually, this process may take some time. Actually, I get all available updates without any problem. So definitely this is a great news because for some reason in Tiny11 I can get two updates. Okay, I will close this window. Also, I want to show you that I installed all important drivers. Actually, all drivers for my model, everything works fine, all drivers is installed. And finally, I'm going to show you how many space Windows 11 takes after you install updates, after you install drivers. Click on local disk C, show more options, and as you can see, it takes 25.9 gigabytes of storage. For the example, Tiny11 takes only less than 19 gigabytes of storage, so definitely Tiny11 is tiny. But to be honest, this is the result that I expect to see, because 
Tiny 11 is the modified version of Windows. They remove a lot of components and even after updating Tiny 11, it will not be so large as Windows 11. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to know how to run Tiny 11 portable from your USB stick, I recommend to click here on this video.